Welcome to MWC, where we're talking about Open RAN with Gil Hellman, Vice President of Solutions Engineering at Wind River. Gil, thank you for joining us. Thank you very much for having me here. Now, Gil, there's been some degree of frustration within the industry about the slow rate of Open RAN adoption. Why do you think that is? What I see, it's a lot of operators are sitting on the side and waiting to see the first mover, to see the data, whether it's actually support the claims. Um, and this data is starting to come up. Um, Actually, with uh, Verizon and Wind River, we're now at a large-scale deployment. We're, in more, we're now into the second year of commercial deployment at scale. Vodafone that started last year and starting to ramp up into scale. This data is starting to come and support many of the claims of the benefits that Open Run will bring. And <clears throat> I truly believe that this is what others are waiting to see before they jump in and make the move as well. Some of the challenges, it uh, has to do with knowledge. It's a very open run, it's a different mindset and shift from a skill set, you know, how you operate the network compared to the traditional. It's not anymore a box that come completely solution from one vendor and the operator just need to know how to connect the boxes and if there is any issue, they just call this other, the vendor that provided. Now we're talking about a lot more software defined. So it's a cloud skill set, software skill set. And in addition to it, it's you basically open the network and disaggregate. So it comes with a complexity of integration and not knowing how to deal with it puts a lot of operator to sit on the fence and see how the first movers. What we do in this area, we have a lot of experience from the commercial deployment and um, we basically take this experience and put it into place into both improving our solution. If you look at the solution two years ago when we came versus into this market uh, versus now, it improved dramatically on how you operate the network, how you deploy it, the day zero, day one and day two part, as well as contributing this knowledge into the community, into the standards, into the open source, uh, which basically benefits everyone and pushes for the, the deployment of Oran. And, we can see a lot more operators starting to get into this. So what work have you been doing at Wind River in terms of open standards? The first thing is uh, looking at what we're doing in the real life and bringing this knowledge into the standard as a contribution with the ecosystem uh, players. So for example, we have here a demonstration uh, about energy efficiency that we're doing with Vodafone, uh, with Keysight, with Intel and with Redesys. This is based on real life experience, uh, operating the network, seeing the power consumption, looking at how we can optimize things. We take those experience and bring them into the standard and bring them into the open source. Uh, or in Workgroup 6, the standard, uh, one example, it's the notification framework. And um, this was really built around our experience from Verizon uh, about how you do time synchronization. So we took this experience with Verizon and others and contributed it and it became part of the standard. Then we used open source to implement an open source reference implementation. And the Windows solution in general, it's an upstream first completely developed in the open source. We then downstream it, productize it and provide it with a complete life cycle uh, support to the operator. Okay, so we basically use those two, the standards and the open source together want to basically take the experience and drive it into the standards and so everyone can benefit and then put out a reference implementation that everyone can look and see here's how we implemented the standard and how it's used in commercial network. So how do you accelerate your customer's journey with Open RAN? It's basically by um, removing as much risk as possible and simplifying it. This is like in a very high level. Uh, what we do it, uh, one example, we say the Dell partnership, the InfraBlock solution. So if you're looking at Oran, I like to look at it as a three-layer cake. Okay, you have your infrastructure, you have your application, and you have your management. If we use our Oran terminology, this is your O-Cloud, your SMO, it's your management, and then your ODU, OVDU, OCU, o, uh, VCU. Those are the application, the run application. Basically, um, and when you look at this aggregation, there is a lot of, uh, like I said, unknown about how you put it together. So what we did with Dell, it's we created a combined solution that provides you an O-Cloud solution with the complete zero touch automation, lifecycle management from day zero to day two with basically one support point. You basically engage with Dell, 
uh, you consume it from Dell, you get one support, and we basically support Dell. Of course, you can work with Windriver as well, uh, but the point is to simplify, to de-risk it. Then together, Dell and Windriver, we basically work with many uh, RAN vendors, for example, Samsung, for example, Ericsson, GMA Wireless, Fujitsu, all been demonstrated to certify their solution on this Dell InfraBlock. So as an operator, if you select the Dell InfraBlock, so the Dell server uh, uh, solution with the Windriver solution, with one of those uh, RAN vendors' uh, application, you know it will work. It will work, it will basically comply with all the KPIs that you need to meet. It will just deploy and work out of the box, and by this, de-risking dramatically the deployment of Aura. Finally, can you tell us more about Wind River Studio and some of those workshops you've been running? Sure. Uh, the Accelerator Workshop are focused on taking our experience from two years of commercial deployment of Aura and its scale. Going to customer sites for half a day to a day, free, explaining to the customer, sharing the information from our journey uh, to give them better tools and better uh, uh, resources to make the right decisions and to know what to expect, uh, what are the things that they, to avoid, uh, for example, and just allow them to get uh, into Aura and, uh, much faster and a lot less risk. Gil Hellman, thank you very much. Thank you very much. My pleasure being here today.